man, a perfect day to review Groundhog Day. So yeah, guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Groundhog Day. So yeah, so before I go right over here, I am going to say this. Cue the intro. Oh, hey, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Groundhog Day today. So yeah, so today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Groundhog Day. So yeah, so before I go right over here, I am going to say this. Cue the intro. I'm still on the same day of Groundhog Day. I mean, I mean, I'm still in the beginning of the video. I mean, really, why can this start? So yeah, so today, guys, I am going to be doing my movie review on Groundhog Day. So yeah, so before I go right over here, I am going to say this. Cue the intro. Hopefully this time I will um, um, end the um, that um, skit I did actually. Um, which I did right now. So yeah, guys. So today, I am going to be doing my movie review on Groundhog Day. So yeah. So before I go, right over here, I am going to say this right now. So yeah. So yeah, guys. So yes, I am going to be reviewing Groundhog Day today. So yeah. So it is Groundhog today. And also today is Groundhog Day today. So yeah. So, so today, guys, I am going to be reviewing this movie right now, actually. So yeah. So before I go, right over here, I am going to say this. And, um, yeah, I am reviewing this movie right now. So, yeah. So, yeah, happy Groundhog Day, everyone. And also, guys, cue the intro. Hey guys, this is it. Happy Groundhog Day, everyone. I mean, what if Puss in Boots from Puss in Boots Last Wish actually um went through um the same day over and over again? Like, it, he was actually stuck in the same day of Groundhog Day over and over again until um, he realized to to um value his own life finally. Actually, so yeah. I mean, that definitely does feel like Groundhog Day. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, I am going to be doing my movie review on this movie right now, today. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. I mean, happy Groundhog Day, everyone. So, yeah. I mean, I heard that. Uh, I actually looked this up on the internet. I actually heard that we're going to have an early spring, which is also awesome as well. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, without further ado, I am going to be doing my um, movie review on this movie right now, today. So, yeah. So, let's get started. So, yeah. Hey, guys. This is Evans Disney's Animation Film Fanatic 2024 here. And today, guess what, guys? And today, I am going to be doing my movie review on Groundhog Day. Came in the year of 1993. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, I am going to read this plot on the internet. So, yeah. So, basically, what the plot's about a single... I, I, I meant to say a cynical TV rubber man and, um, finds himself receiving the same day over and over again when he goes on the location to a small um town in in um in um, in Paxitani to film a report about actual groundhog day his um peppermint dri his um per his um peppermint drives um i meant to say his predicament in in um drives him him to this direction to just i meant to say, i actually meant to say um um destruction until he sees the turning in the situation to his his range so yeah so that's basically what the plot's about about this movie so yeah so i did remember that this movie actually did came out at the Actually, did have its premiere on um, February fourth of nineteen ninety three at the um, Fox Village Theater. Here on February fourth of nineteen ninety three, and it did get released in theaters um worldwide on um February twelfth of nineteen ninety three. And I know this movie is actually um. I know this movie is actually, yeah um. Which just just give me a sec, guys.
I know this movie is actually an hour and 41 minutes, actually. And, yeah. And I know this movie is directed by, um... On, is actually directed by, um... Harold Hermes, which, yeah. Yes, as well, so, yeah. And it also stars Bill Murray and, um... Lady, um... McDowell, Lady McDowell, so yeah, and also, yeah, and also, um, fun fact, I mean, in production, the original idea of Groundhog Day went from writer, um, Danny Rubin in 1990, when he moved to Los Angeles as a screenwriter, while, um, waiting in a theater to start to film, he read Annie's um, book, um, um, I meant to say Annie Rice's book, The Empire, I meant to say The Vampire in Lanius, it's in 1980, I meant 1985, Rubin, um, began musling about, um, I meant to say amusing, you know, about a vampire mortality, mortality, and, what would um with what would do with their time is limitless and um he reasonably he reasonably that vampires are like normal people that are not needed to endear to ordinary rules or moral or boundaries is he questioned if, um, especially if they, um, were in capital of, um, separated national change. And, um, he signed on, he signed out men deemed to be, um, invested development who, who could, um, um, out visit their islands. So, yeah. Even though, oh yeah, and fun fact, this movie was originally called Time Machine, actually, which also, yeah, even though, even though he, um, brought, even though he actually brought the right, even though Ribbons actually, Rams actually, um, brought the right, um, actually brought, um, his script to, um, Colum actually, brought the script to actually brought his script to Columbia Pictures and that they would grant him um a higher budget but the cost creative control and a much smaller independent studio offered him a budget of three million dollars which um which yeah um but would the original what but would um let um Ruben remain the his original concept. Ruben choose to go with Raymond's deal as expected. And, uh, the studio wanted changes, so yeah. And also, even though um he uh, even though Ruben actually delivered a fresh draft on um February on February on February 2nd of 1991, actually, so, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, even though, fun fact, originally, um, actors such as, um, Phil Quarters, Chevy Chase, Tom Hanks, and also Michael Keaton were also considered to play the character, were also considered to play, um, Phil Quarters, I mean, Phil Corners, but, but, um, they decided to went with Bill Murray, actually, which, yeah. Which, yeah. And also, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, guys. So, what do I think? So, yeah, guys. So, what do I think of this movie? I have to say, this is definitely a fantastic comedy movie. I mean, yeah, this is... I mean, Groundhog Day is definitely a perfect movie to watch for Groundhog Day. So, yeah. I mean, it is Groundhog Day today, actually. So, yeah. I've always wanted to review this movie for a while, actually, which honestly, yeah, I mean, I, w I was going to review, I was thinking about reviewing this movie, actually, which honestly, yeah, 
which I was thinking about reviewing Groundhog Day. So yeah, which this is definitely a fantastic comedy movie. And also yeah, speaking of um, of uh of Groundhog Day, I mean it is Groundhog Day today, um, February second. So yeah, it is February second of um two thousand twenty four. So yeah. Even though this movie actually did celebrate it, it's, um, even though this movie, Groundhog Day, actually celebrated its um, 30th anniversary last year. So, yeah, so happy, um, late 30th anniversary to Groundhog Day. So, yeah, even though it is 2024 now, and this movie is going to turn, um, 31 years old, um, um, in two days on, um, Sunday, um, February 4th of, um, 2024. So, yeah, so, yeah, which that's also really exciting as well. So, yeah. And also, I forgot to mention that this is also my second favorite movie of uh, of 1993, right under my personal right under my personal favorite movie of 1993 being Mrs. Doubtfire. I mean, yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire is definitely my favorite movie of 1993 as well. So yeah, that movie is an absolute classic, actually. So yeah, and yeah, this is definitely a fantastic comedy movie. I mean, yeah, it is Groundhog Day today. So yeah, and also um. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, and yeah, even though it is, um, I think it is streaming on Amazon Prime, actually, so yeah, and also, um, yeah, and yeah, just give me a sec, guys, just give me a sec, but that's okay, so yeah. Even though this is, this movie is actually a fantasy con, even though Groundhog Day movie is actually a fantasy um comedy movie actually which honestly yeah and also um yeah and also this movie has a very talented cast like like um like i definitely thought um bill murray as um as phil quarters was fantastic in this movie i mean yeah this is definitely my my favorite bill murray movie is definitely um Ron Hog Day, which honestly, yeah, which even though I did review Ghostbusters last year, even though he is going to be in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire as well, which comes out on uh, next month on on March twenty second of 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 two thousand of two thousand twenty four, even though the original Ghostbusters is actually celebrating its fortieth anniversary this year, which is also really exciting as well. Which honestly, yeah, which I already reviewed the original Ghostbusters last year on uh, June sixteenth of of. Uh, June six. I meant to say June six. I reviewed um the original Ghostbusters nineteen ninety four on June sixteenth of t of twenty twenty three, which I did review that movie actually. So yeah, and also yeah, and even Liza McDowell, even I meant to say, I meant to say um, Idy um Idy McDowell was fantastic in this movie as Retta Hansen. Which she was definitely phenomenal and very fantastic in this movie at the exact same time as well. So yeah, and even Chris um Elliot, Chris Elliot as um Larry the Camo Man was also really great, and also um Stephen um Stur Sturfrey was also as um Nerd Rishi was also really great, and also oh yeah, and even the rest of the cast of this movie does a phenomenal job. Um, so yeah, like even um, Robin Duke as um, Doris the Waitress, and even um, Rick Rick Overden as um, as Ralph, and um, and Rick um, I meant to say Rick um, Doberman as um, Gus, and and also Angela Pernan as um. As Mrs. Is Larnerson, which yeah, as Mrs. Larson, and also, um, Brian um, Dell, um Murray as um Buster Green, I mean those um roles were definitely fantastic in this movie. So yeah, and also yeah, and, I mean, this has a lot of great scenes in this movie. Like, and also, um, also. Phil actually re actually um is stuck in the same day actually so yeah even though um even though the movie Happy Death Day actually um do did take an inspiration from Scream and also is basic is that Happy Death Day is basically a movie um is actually a, a um 
Scream and um is actually a mixture of Scream and and Groundhog Day, which yeah. And also yeah. Also back onto this movie actually. So yeah. And which and to be honest, even though I didn't know that that movie also took took inspiration from Groundhog Day with Happy Death Day. So yeah, so so yeah guys, so um I am gonna um talk now back to talk on to this movie. So yeah. I mean there's a lot of great scenes in this movie like um like um, like a perfect day in Groundhog Day, um Nerd um racing and also again and also there was a scene in this movie where um where where um Phil Quarters actually dressed up as um Clean Eastwood, which um, which um which was also really um funny actually with um, with his um with um with um Ritter Hansen as as a maid, which they actually went to the movies actually, even though this wasn't a costume party actually, which I thought that was actually really funny actually. So yeah. Mm. as well so yeah and even um even even um red uh, even there's also other great things i know also there's other great scenes like what redder wants in the scene what where wants and new and improved and also um groundhog drives and also yeah and also yeah there are there is a scene where um where um phil actually um um, when I'm filled eyes, he actually, um, 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 get some back, um, when I'm Phil, um, actually, um, dies, um, he gets back into the same day over again, which, yeah, which, he did do that when, um, he actually drove a truck off a cliff and then exploded and then, he also did that when he electrocuted himself in the bathtub, and also, um, he actually, and also, um, and also when, um, he actually, um, jumped off, um, when he actually, um, jumped off a, um, the, um, the bell tower, or, or, but yeah, and also, yeah, 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 I mean, there's also great uh, other um, great scenes like um, Phil's a God and also, yeah, yeah, and there, there's a lot of great scenes in this movie, so yeah, I mean, yeah, and now let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by um, George Flint, which honestly, to be honest, his score still holds up to this day. 31 years later, it still is absolutely phenomenal and very fantastic at the exact same time. I mean, yeah, it's definitely very fantastic. I mean, yeah, it very still holds up to this day. I mean, yeah, it still is absolutely phenomenal and very fantastic. So, yeah. And also, yeah, even though this movie um, actually did, did become a box office success as well, and it became one of the highest grossing movies of 1993 as well, even though the reviews were generally positive with reviews consistently in praise for um for the meddling of um existentialism and deeply cynical moments and the personal um message Griffin Griffin caught with the comedy also yeah and also did receive a, a BAFTA award for best original screenplay and for its success I mean it marks the end of Raymond C's long long rem, I meant to say Reams and and um Murray's long and, um collaboration and um partnership which um he produced movies like um 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 Night Shack um Caddyshack Caddyshack and um Ghostbusters which um after filming the Prior to he didn't speak him shortly after um Rim's death in nineteen in um in two thousand fourteen, which yeah that was heartbreaking that he um that Harold Rims actually died in two thousand fourteen, which yeah even though in over the years the movie has has grown Rims 
actually has grown in M's as often as one of the greatest movies of nineteen of the nineteen nineties and one of the greatest comedy movies ever, which also yeah. Even though it did get a Broadway musical in um even though Groundhog Day did get a Broadway musical in two thousand sixteen and um and a um and a two thousand nineteen video game as well. Which, yeah. And also yeah. And also um yeah, I have nothing else to say. So yeah, even though um filming actually did take place between March and June of nineteen ninety of June of nineteen ninety two at at the, um at the um Wood Woodstock um Lewis it was filmed entirely in Woodstock, um and um Lewis in Lewis and so yeah. In Lewis, so yeah. So yeah, guys, so now let's talk about the music and the score of this movie. I mean, enough said, I mean, it still holds up to this day. It still looks absolutely fantastic and phenomenal at the exact same time. So yeah, so overall, guys, I have nothing else to say about this movie. So yeah, so if you haven't seen Groundhog Day, where you've been, I recommend it. So yeah, I mean, it is Groundhog Day today. It is February 2nd. So yeah, which February 2nd is always Groundhog Day. So yeah. So yeah, guys, so, so yeah, so overall, I have nothing else to say about this um, amazing, brilliant masterpiece. So yeah, so, so yeah, guys, so I am going to give Groundhog Day a uh... 10 out of 10 spectacular. So yeah, guys, what do you think of my movie review on Groundhog Day? So yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and make sure to like this video. So yeah, so stay tuned for my short review on how to hook up your home theater, which will be on Tuesday, February 6th of this year, which is aka my second review of February of two of 2024, which I'm going to be reviewing this Tuesday on February 6th of this year. So stay tuned for that as well on my channel. So yeah. And also for next Friday, my um third review of February of 2024 is Two for the Rope, which I'm going to be reviewing next Friday on February 9th of this year. So stay tuned for that as well. So yeah, guys. So so yeah, guys. So before I go, I am going to sing you guys a song actually so yeah so yeah i am gonna sing right now so yeah see the light with the sky meet the sea it calls me and no one knows before it goes if the wind and my sail on the sea stays behind me one day i'll know how far I'll go Remember me Though I have to say goodbye Remember me Who's your favorite fearless hero? Who's your favorite fearless hero? I'm ready Come on, I'm ready I'm impatient and setbacks and steady. Bless me now as you blessed us all those years ago when you gave us a miracle. Am I too late for a miracle? I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be attend Is it my destiny to live and die In life on pawn fragility I'm just Ken And if we love see she He sees a friend What we take for her To see the man be highly tan And fight for me So yeah guys, so yeah, so yeah guys So I'll see you guys later and bye.